guys, today I'm going to be doing a bit of a clothing haul. Now this is kind of a collective haul because some of these things I bought quite a while ago and some are quite new. I don't really go out and buy a lot of things all at once so I've been collecting it and keeping a note on my phone so I could do one big haul video for you today. First of all, this hat. And if you watched my Brighton vlog you would have seen me actually buying this hat. Um, I found it in Urban Outfitters in Brighton and I've never been really a hat person. I find it really hard to get away with kind of autumn winter hats. I mean, I can wear beanie hats, but not like um, black fedora type things. But this one's more of like a summery hat. And when I tried it on, I actually really liked it. I can kind of put it on a bit now for you to see. I think it's really cute for summer and it makes your outfit way more summery just by like, putting on a hat. And I have a couple of holidays planned this year, so I think it will be good for that as well. In that same Brighton vlog, you would have seen this dress that I was wearing with it. And this is a striped dress from H&M. I really like this because the material is quite thick and weighted, so it hangs really nicely. It's not kind of too tight, it's not too thin that it kind of blows around in the wind. It's just really kind of good quality, especially for H&M. It's navy and white, which I absolutely love. You guys know I love stripes, I wear them in pretty much every video, but navy and white stripes are my all-time favourite. It's quite a nice length as well, it's not too short, but it's short enough to kind of be summery. And I have a few photos, I actually met quite a few of you guys in Brighton, so I would try and find some photos and put them here, because I'm wearing the dress and the hat in those photos. I'm really happy with this purchase and I think I will wear this a lot in the summer. Talking of stripes, I have more stripes, I'm just addicted, but these are actually pyjamas and I needed some new kind of spring pyjamas because all of mine were just, I was waking up so hot in the night, I needed something. My bedroom's in the loft so it gets so hot in the summer and freezing in the winter. So I got these, it's basically they look awful, there's no way I'm going to film a cutaway of me wearing these, but they're really comfy. So they're kind of high-waisted shorts which have this nice thin loose material, and then a crop top, but not too cropped that I actually have my belly out, it's just kind of a short loose t-shirt, and they look really cute together. I mean, it looks a bit ridiculous, but who cares, no one really sees me in bed anyway, apart from Rich and he doesn't really care. So these are just thin, lightweight, and very comfortable for the summer. My next purchase is a massive wardrobe staple, and it's these t-shirts. I'm wearing the one in grey, I bought one in white, which I seem to have lost already, and one in black, which you can see here. And these are really nice, they're 100% viscose, I think that's how you say it, which is normally material I stay clear of because it makes you kind of sweaty, but in these ones it doesn't and it's just really nice kind of weighted, nice cut, it's a v-neck which I don't normally wear but I quite like it, the sleeves are kind of short and kind of fitted, especially the white one I've really been enjoying wearing with jeans, I think that's like my favourite summer look, just kind of jeans and a white t-shirt and sandals. Unfortunately these only come in black, white and grey, so I've bought every colour I possibly can, but if they bring out any more colours I will definitely buy them. Okay next up are some trousers that you would have also seen in my Brighton vlog, and they are from Zara. I saw, um, I'll link the blog below, it's called Little Magpie, and she is one of my favourite all-time fashion bloggers, she wore these and I was on the hunt. I went to every Zara near me to try and find them and I was so happy when I did. They have an elasticated waistband, which is thumbs up points for me because anything comfortable is in my good books. So they're high-waisted, elasticated, and then they're kind of like smart, not linen, they look like linen, um, smart kind of material, and then they roll up at the bottom. And I just really like this look for summer. It's a nice change from wearing tight jeans, especially when it's slightly warmer. They have that kind of loose, casual look, and with a white t-shirt kind of tucked in or not tucked in, I think they look really nice, and with my Birkenstock sandals. Which, by the way, heads up, I'm wearing my Birkenstocks in all of the cutaways, so I'm sorry if you're not a fan. I know some people either hate them or love them, but I love them. So these trousers are going to get a lot of use in the spring and summer, I think. And whilst I was in Zara, I bought this top to go with it. And this is the only thing in this haul that I'm not sure yet if I'm going to keep. I've kept the label on, so you guys have to let me know what you think. It's this little kind of cropped sweater. And I don't normally wear cropped because I don't really like to get my stomach and back out. But something about this one I really like, and it's slightly longer. So I think with high-waisted trousers like those ones, you wouldn't actually see much stomach. It's ribbed and it's kind of stretchy and then it's long sleeved with like this ribbed bit by the wrists and it's quite um, thick so I don't think I could wear it when it's hot, I can imagine getting quite sweaty in this but I don't know what, I just really like this. This is what I wish I could dress like but I just don't know if I have the confidence to and I'm just I'm in an R and over this. It's It's got the label on and I just haven't decided yet whether to take it back. It was £35 so it wasn't cheap. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not sure, I think my boobs are a bit big for it. If you watched my Milan lookbook video, then you would have seen this. It is a Topshop Scort, 
and a skirt is basically shorts and a skirt mixed. So from the back it looks like a pair of shorts and from the front it looks like a very short skirt but I don't really like wearing short skirts because I'm just don't like the fact you can't sit on the floor and you're going to worry people are going to see your knickers but with these because they are shorts you have no fear of showing your knickers. So I really like this and although I really don't wear many kind of skirts I think this does look nice with a t-shirt or a little jumper and it's kind of an easy transition into the warmer months. Also good for a night out. So when I saw the new season Zara bag, you know how every season there's like a Zara bag that everyone gets? It's this one and I saw it and thought nah not for me, it's really kind of floppy and I just wasn't into it. But then my, I think it was the Milan ship came up and I really needed a bag to take the pop, to the passport, to the airport to put my stuff in. And I went to have a look at this one again and actually once I really looked at it I kind of fell in love. It's huge so it fits loads in and inside it has a, a compartment to keep like laptops or purses, anything that you don't want because it is open so that area is zipped up. And when it's full I actually really like the look of it. I like that the handles are long enough that you can put it over your shoulder which is good for airports and you can also kind of hold it on your arm if you want to. It is leather. Is it leather? No, it's too cheap to be real leather. It's definitely not real leather. But it also came in like a cobalt blue which I really liked but I think they sold out so I got the black which should last me for a good few years um, and yeah I just really like this. If you watched my vlog you would have seen that my dog ate my jeans. She does that a lot. It drives me insane. So when I went to buy a new pair of Lee jeans. I also saw these which are the Jamie's and they have the rips in the knees and um, they've got a rip on each knee and then a kind of distressed look up here and I know it seems ridiculous to buy jeans that already have rips in them. I actually have a pair of jeans that I ripped myself but because the jeans were already quite old I don't really like what the rest of the jeans look like but these are really nice. I haven't bought Jamie's for ages. I used to buy them but then I found that they stretch too easily so I started wearing Lee's but actually, when I tried these on, I really liked the fit. They're high-waisted and they kind of suck you in. They're slightly thicker than Lee jeans. And I just love the split knee and I roll up the bottoms. Oh, they're not rolled up at the moment. And I think these look really nice with just like a white t-shirt and Birkenstock sandals. And I've been wearing them a lot. Still on the denim thing, my next purchase is a very on me, scary, risky one. And I don't know what came over me. I was shopping with my mum and she is dangerous. She is a bigger enabler than I am. If you guys think I'm an enabler, you should meet my mum. This is from Zara and I keep seeing this in all the magazines because it's basically a rip-off of one of the designer pieces. It's a uh, denim looking, it's not actually denim, it's kind of thin material, jumpsuit. Now hear me out, I tried it on and I thought actually this is kind of cool. It could look nice in the summer with sandals, it's really lightweight and definitely comfortable. I do look a bit like something from the 50s, I don't know, apparently only tall people can get away with wearing these, so maybe I should use my tallness to my advantage this time. I think it's pretty cool, but I know a lot of people are going to hate this as well. I've still got the label on, just in case, but I think I'm going to keep it. I don't know when I'll wear it, but if I ever get the courage to, I think it's really cool, and sometimes I need to kind of take a risk with my wardrobe and this is my risk. Okay, so let's talk about jewellery. A couple of months ago I realised that I hate all my jewellery and I really didn't have much. So I actually did a blog post on this which I will link below. I went to a few places, um, but mainly and other stories, which is a shop I really like. It's owned by H&M, but it's slightly more kind of high-end, it's a bit like cos-like, and they do really nice jewellery. So the first thing I picked up are these rings, which I'm wearing on my ring fingers now. And I think it came with like 10 of these tiny little rings all wrapped together. And I love wearing these over the knuckle rings. I think they make your hands look really girly and delicate. Um, they're really nice when you have nicely painted nails, which I just realized my nail polish is chipped. Um, but yeah, I really like this. It's a mix of silver and gold, which I also really like. I also picked up this necklace, which is very me because it's kind of grungy, but still girly at the same time. It had this kind of metal chain and then all these little gold rings that are attached to the bottom. And this just hangs really nicely because it's quite heavy. And it's delicate, it's not a statement necklace, but it's something to wear when you just feel like you need a necklace. This next one you would have also seen in my Milan lookbook if you watched that. It is a kimono from H&M. And I haven't bought any other kimonos since, but I really want to. I'm loving this kimono trend. So I would wear this with jeans or shorts maybe. It's quite long and it has this kind of kimono arm thing going on. And this nice kind of print, which is not animal print, from far away it probably looks like it is. Uh, but I just think this is really nice and floaty and summery 
and pretty and girly and kind of festival chic. Okay, the final item is another love-hate one. I got this from ASOS, but it's by the brand Monkey, which is a brand I really like. They have a shop on Carnaby Street and I always pop in there when I'm there. It is a denim jacket and it's a grey kind of stonewashed denim jacket and it's very, very oversized. I have like a slight fear of denim jackets from back in the day when I was 12 and I used to wear flared jeans and a tight denim jacket together and it's just traumatised me for life but I really like this one and I think the whole denim on denim thing slightly coming back but even if you're not kind of risky enough to do that this is really nice over a dress it's massively massively oversized and I know a lot of you guys are going to say it's not very flattering but I like wearing oversized things but I just I like that whole like swallow me up effect this is just really comfy I roll the sleeves all the way up and I just kind of like the look of it but again I probably won't wear this that much but when I do I have enjoyed it so far. So that's everything, a massive collective clothing haul from ASOS, Topshop, Zara, maybe a few other places. I really hope you guys have enjoyed seeing what I bought. Let me know what your favourite piece was that I mentioned. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!